My name is Jesenia Solorio. I grew up in East Palo Alto, and I'm a former student of the Ravenswood School District. I graduated from UC Santa Barbara and came back to the community upon graduating. I'm a mother of two wonderful sons. My oldest son was diagnosed with cerebral palsy a few months after his birth. He is now six years old. The moment I enrolled him in preschool here in East Palo Alto, I realized that I was going to have to be my son's number one advocate. I had to work really hard to demand the appropriate services and equipment that my child required. For instance, he needed a communication device that was never provided to him. In the two years that he was in the district. Additionally, a student system was never provided to him despite the fact that he was not able to sit independently at that time. One day, I show up to his classroom and was confused to find a substitute teacher in place. And to my surprise, she was not following my son's IEP because she had no idea there was an IEP in place for Alexander. His teacher and the special needs department staff always demonstrated frustration when I asked for IEP meetings. I felt no one listened to me. In fact, they wanted me to go away or quiet me down. I never did. Two years later, I moved to Palo Alto. I immediately noticed a huge difference in treatment and services. My child was placed in a class with only six kids, and there was about one adult for each kid in the class. Within two months of being there, Alexander received an iPad to communicate which has greatly improved his communication skills. I'm grateful that he's receiving the services and education he deserves. I don't think it is fair that our experience changed because I left our community. And I'm very sad that many of my friends here in East Palo Alto are going through the same experiences I went through. I, th I have big dreams for my children. I want families to feel supported. Providing an excellent education only betters our community. There are hardworking people here. I hear the district says that we need to solve poverty first. Our families work all day, and some even have two jobs to make just enough income to pay the bills. For these reasons, parents rely on teachers and school staff to provide the best education possible so that they can graduate from college. Change needs to start now. El cambio debe de empezar ahora. As parents, we have rights. Como padres, tenemos derecho. And we should have the right to open a KIP in our community if that is the option that we want. Y debemos de tener el derecho de traer una nueva escuela a nuestra ciudad si eso es lo que deseamos. Gracias. Thank you.